Okay, I think you may notice that this picture looks familiar because it is the same picture you saw when you looked at all of my photos of my neighborhood. This is my house. This is my nice little townhome. Here's the little courtyard in front that is loaded with snow even though it was a lot higher. Here are the two big trees that are in our courtyard. There's three units on this side. One, two, three. And there's three units on the east side, which is the 17 address. One, two, and three. I live in two. There's our parking lot all the way in back. And if you look, you could see the corner of my car over there. And there's my unit. First floor, second floor, third floor, and then there's a basement downstairs. So let's go in. And this will continue where those photographs left off. I'm not too sure if the video is being recorded or if the audio is, but we'll give it a try. Here we are. I am greeted when I come home by my beautiful baby dog, Sandy, who has been waiting very, very, very patiently for me. I kick off my shoes. This is Sandy's little food supply over here. Here is a nice little guest bathroom with a whole bunch of nice things that I tried to set up the way my wife taught me how to do them. And uh, even the guest towels are clean. I'm not a neat freak, but for a bachelor, I'm pretty damn good. Here's a closet, which is not too uh, great. It's a little bit messy, but I keep a few things in here. And now, you see on the right, my door that goes down to the basement. And we'll go down to the basement. I just turned on the lights. You can see a little light come on. Here's some messy stuff hanging on hooks. Here we are going down the stairs. Uh, it's kind of a spiral staircase. you got to hold on to the railings. Here's my nice laundry room, which is very warm and very nice and very reliable. I just put the light on in it. Here's where I store all my junk. You could probably see a nice bicycle here, which is my $85 Walmart bike. There's a super duper vacuum and there's some junk that I store on the sides. And here is Dr. Dunder's bicycle, which is awesome. It's worth about, oh, about a thousand bucks. A little bit more expensive than mine, but they both ride really good. Here's some junk. Here's some storage area. Here's my fluorescent lights. And here's my workshop where I make my computers. I'm in the middle of a really super duper uh, system here I've been playing with for a few months now and rather than put it into the case I like to keep it out so I could experiment it with it and keep it tweaked and here we are leaving the cluttered basement and here we are in the laundry room there was a little bit of a leak here but it seems to be fixed now and here's where I torture people in my spare time. I put them in back of those pipes over there. Okay, now we're going back up the stairs. And I store a lot of my junk up here that I need for handy reaching. It's also where I keep my dirty clothes. Here's Sandy's dog food. And here we are back upstairs. That was the first basement floor. Now I'm going to show you the other three floors. Here's the stairs going up to the second floor. And here is the front window. And here is one of the uh, paintings my wife liked. And here's another one that she really liked. And here is one that she really liked because her sister painted it. It's a very nice picture of the water tower in Chicago. There's my crossword puzzle lamp. This is where Sandy sleeps. But I sleep here too, especially when I am tired and I just want to do a crossword puzzle with my little old man's lamp on. Here is Sandy wondering what the hell I'm doing. Here's my dining room that has a lot of tables, chairs, and I mostly I keep my laptop on here. 
because uh, I sometimes when I'm down here I like to do it some computer stuff here's a nice uh, sculptor that my wife had it's a Edna Hibble it's a mother with a baby here's some nice flowers and some knickknacks and some books that I have kept here's my kitchen and the usual stuff you could see a sink you could see junk you could see a stove you could see a clock so you know what time it is that I'm filming this now it's 3.30 and you're probably figuring it's p.m. rather than a.m. here's my refrigerator and my magnets all the stuff I keep on it and a lot of junk I like the uh, coconut coffee mate because it has a really good taste and here's my little uh, cutting counter where I cut up body parts you know and feed Sandy here's my one of my many crossword puzzle pads that you see hanging around the house okay uh, did you see this nice little souvenir of the Garrick theater from Chicago it weighs about a hundred pounds it's a theater that burned down a long time ago there's one of my fake trees there's my mirror so I think you could see me waving to you in the mirror and here's the other side of my cutting table let's go upstairs here we go up the stairs I put the light on even though it's really not too dark in here because it's only 3.30 in the afternoon in January. There's my bathroom. I keep it pretty clean. It's the big bathroom. It's where my guests use it too. I have plenty of towels, uh, even guest towels, vanity lights. And you can see that big fat guy in the mirror again with the video camera. There's my clean sink. And I'm really not a, a clean, crazy guy. There's a lot of little things in this house that are dirty. I'm just not going to show them to you. Here's my daughter's prior bedroom. It has really a big bed. And it also has a, a pull-in bed from the bottom as well. So you could sleep two adults on here. Uh, and that's where a guest and a guest's fr guest would be. Oh, here's her window. That keeps it nice and quiet. Here's uh, her light. Some of the things. There's her closet. God knows what's in there. There's her little table, which we could put a computer on. There's Wi-Fi all over the house. Okay, let's cut off the light. I want to show you Dr. Dunder's room. Dr. Dunder is my guest who has been using this room for a while. He's pretty neat, too. I'm not going to go into a lot of rigmarole but there he is we got a TV down here a chest of drawers another big closet where I still keep most of my clothes lamps and very very warm and comfortable down here it's not as big as Julia's bedroom Julia decided to take the biggest bedroom and then leave the little one to me and then after she did that she decided to move out and live with her brother for the rest of her life there's her nice little cute house slippers here we are going up another flight of stairs now this is the second window that you saw when we were down there. We were standing approximately right there when we started taking the pictures. There's that big tree. You'll see it's going up, 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 and you'll see it when we're on the third floor as well. There's all the snow. Here we are going up another flight of stairs now to the third floor, which is the top floor, which is I, what I call the tree house because it's up in the trees. And you'll see the top of that big tree. There's a messy closet. You know... You would not think I was real if some of my closets were not messy. So, yeah, there's a little mess in there. I keep the warm blankets and just some junk, warm clothes. Oh, I think it has a light, too. And some of the toys I keep for my grandbabies and some of my warm clothes. Uh, here we are looking now at the third floor and near to the top of the tree. And you can see that's where we were originally and here we are near near the top of the tree when it's summertime it's all green it really do feel like you're in a tree house plus I have a little tree over here that makes you think you're in a tree house plus I have my TV which I never watch but I guess people are supposed to have TVs there's my comfortable chair there's my auto men there's a little desk over there with a lot of pictures of my family there's another comfortable chair I keep my pillows on. 
there's another case where I keep a lot of CDs and stuff inside and here's my window here's another tree by the way here's my window where I look outside and there's a little city parking lot down there and if you look that way that's the center of downtown Lake Bluff over there this car is pulling away from the post office and going towards North Avenue now uh, and there's the post office loading dock right there we're looking east the beach is about a half a mile down here we are looking at some more tables which I keep clean and dusted uh, there's my big nice chair it's a little bit too small to sleep in though so I just sit on it sometimes and here's where I spend my entire life right here on that chair and on my computer and when I give my classes or chat with my friends even if they're uh, on video camera that's basically the view that they're getting because that is the same view as my uh, webcam that I have on the computer so here we are I spend most of my life on this third treehouse floor I love living here it's a great place I don't have any maid come in I keep it fairly clean I did not clean this place up just for the movie this is normally about what it's like but my greatest recent discovery is that with Sandy having all her dog hairs I found a way to get uh, sweep those up really 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 easily so I'm very excited about that and now I will turn off the light and we're done with the movie so I don't know how to end it but let's just say you know it's going to be a wonderful place I hope for people to visit thank you very much